Hallo, hallo, hallo. Hallo, can you hear me? Am I getting through to you? Welcome, 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 welcome to the weird, wacky, but wonderful. Something sounded a bit like Abraham with that on. Wow. <laughs> Okay, this is a weird, wacky, but wonderful, and I'm not sure how this one's going to come out because this could come out before my other one, it might come out before my Bloodsport video. I really, really don't know. Because this is random as fuck. Because this is random as fuck. Random as fuck. Now, it probably is going to come out quite quick because I don't have to rely or depend on anything that's going to get COVID strike. So, a few weeks ago, um, well, a few weeks ago, just after Christmas, um, I basically was trolling eBay looking for stuff and going right a few Christmas monies here Thank you very much to the family for all the money they sent us um, And I got a Goonies. Honestly, I got a Goonies. I didn't mean I got a Goonies No, what I was meant to say was um, finally I seen a big box Goonies. And it's right behind us. It's there Just there. Now Dark Man's moves. And then when I did the Goonies, I started mentioning something else to the 11 days. That's what it says. This the whole map says 11 days. And then when I was doing the blood sport, I started mentioning something else. And it's a simple fact that fuck my life, guess what happened? I was waiting on something. But then I've got this new one coming. So I've got to wait on the post, man. So when the new one comes, and it's already there, it's just not the English version because I didn't think I would ever get one. There's been a couple, and I'll give you a little bit of a hint. It's like this one here. Stand by me, it's an original one, right? It's in absolutely pristine condition. Like, you gotta remember that, that would have been on the shelf and rented out. In fact, in Prey of the Road Boys, which is a video I was just finishing up last night, I was on about this. I was like, right, I've ordered some it, and I waited. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited for the postman to um, deliver my package 11 days prior and leave it in the bin. 11 days it was in the bin for. Now it's perfectly fine, and then a couple of nights ago I came home and Bloodsport was just standing in the rain, waiting for us, covered, wrecked, soaking wet. Outside, on my doorstep, in the fucking rain. In this morning. Knock, knock, knockity, knock, 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 postman. And I'm convinced the postman, right, is also the pizza man. Honestly, he like, I'm sure it's the same guy, even though he's got a twin. Now with all that said and done, I was done, dusted. Now behind me is one of the biggest collections I've ever had and I don't know of any other like it. It's very unique in a way. Of Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. And Corey Haim's pretty much complete when it comes to big box. And I'm talking UK. There's a couple of counterparts there of Germans, German imports. German. <laughs> there's a couple of Germans up there. Um, and then there's a Japanese one and then some of the American ones here. This is what I've got the stick for. Look, I can put, put the things now. So there's a gap here. So can you guess what's missing? So anyway, it's been a while to track them down, so some of the bigger ones, like Stand By Me and the recently the Goonies I got, you just don't see them. And you've got to think, these are ex-rental, so they've seen the light of day on video shot when people first discovered these movies. And again, they come through on sell-through. And as I say, the Corey Haim, Corey Feldman collection, it's quite hard. Now, Feldman pops up on loads of random stuff. Haim was probably was someone called him the king of VHS, sorry, I forget who the YouTuber was. As I say, counting these and collecting these all over from New Zealand as well. There's a few mixed in there. Now, there's two, and I honestly thought, and I might have mentioned this in more recently upcoming videos, I definitely mentioned it when I did. Um, there's two videos on YouTube of Corey Haim and Corey Feldman where I sit down, lights on, cameras action, and talk all the way through them. And I think when you get to the Feldman one, there's an unboxing at the end of Dream Little Dream 2 and Rock and Roll High School Forever, and then the Haim one was the original. Haim one was quite good actually because uh, I released it, put it on the Corey Haim fan website, got loads of, like, met loads of new people, got invited to loads of groups and all this kinds of stuff. And yeah, I went and deleted 12 videos off my YouTube by accident, and that was one of them, so I had to re-upload it, and what a disaster. Anyway, off that rant. Now this is meant to be weird, wacky, but wonderful. Quack, quack. Mm-hmm. And um, so anyway, back to my story, what I was on about. I was done, dust it with that, and um, you know, tracking down stuff, and you look, and you sometimes see, and what you do never, 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 never see is Friday the 13th, part 4, and part 5, which starred Corey Feldman. Yeah, and he said, here and there, because <laughs> last night when I did the Prayer Roller Boys, and he said, fucking Feldman was in Prayer the Roller Boys, so yeah, I, even I, as a big fan, get them mixed up. So anyway, 
you just never see the Friday the 13th. And there's a couple of times I've looked, and sometimes when you're tracking down Fellman ones, you'll not exactly be tagged in it. For example, no one's going to put Corey Fellman's in Maverick, you know what I mean? So again, if you're looking for your big box, you've got to search around. And there you can, Corey M. Corey Fellman always has a high price. But we're not talking about the two Corys here, we're talking about Friday the 13th, and this is a different element to get into this collection, the horror fans, especially one of the biggest horror franchises ever. And I'm a big fan, I met Kane Hodder, you can probably see it right in the corner there, at Jason X, when I got that signed off Kane, um, I went to the picture to see Jason X, even though I'd been out for two years. Big fan, and I think Fellman is absolutely amazing in the second one. Curses the Goonies, funny enough, um, to high hopes for not having a fuller, bigger role. Um, and recently Fanboy13 has come out, seen the lights are down on Amazon, haven't seen it yet, and hoping to get that. I mean, really could have brought Fanboy13 out on a VHS, but you never know. One thing, tracking down two Corys, another thing, getting like, again, let's talk Maverick, or a Batman Forever, Corey Humes and that. Stand By Me was another big one, I think that was like nearly two years ago, when I did the whole flashback driving around my car. Some of them, you as a hunter of a VHS, you're like, fuck, I need a, like, you're looking around, looking around, looking around, and everyone's cottoned on. I mean, I am, when I moved house and all the VHSs I had, I sold one VHS and I didn't want to even tell the guy. That has been holding up a shelf for years in my house. I didn't even know I had it. £75, like mental. The guy was like crazy ass horror fans. And there's nothing wrong with being a crazy ass horror fan. I'm just saying, some people are well fucking crazy, like myself. But anyway, off that run. Meanwhile, back on the edge. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the edge. Ooh. You ready? <sighs> so, I recently trapped myself to the Goonies, waited, was in the bin, Bloodsport came, and I'm really trying not to buy anything. At this point in time, this video is going to come out well after I'm due to go to Barcelona on Wednesday. Mental being just left alone. Alone. Hello. I knew, like, kind of save, don't spend loads of money, and again, suppressing the videos I do, because when I do a video like this, and you're going, what the fuck is this guy going to talk about? Um, I want to make them weird, I want to make them wacky. Like, really wacky. This hat feels weird. Yeah, talk about going off rant. I'm starting to get used to caps, a little bit. Yeah, I, can't, I think this cap is definitely, my head's definitely getting a bit too fat for this hat, that's for sure. What the fuck am I talking about? So yeah, I wasn't wanting to buy anything, and then Brit. Now Brit, I want to tell you right now, got promoted at work, awesome for Brit. And she was just like, right. And Brit got us this, again, so if you've seen me done a tele video, this woman is obsessed with just going, here, have these things. And on eBay, one person, same seller, was selling Friday the 13th, the final chapter, and Friday the 13th, a new beginning. And I was like, fuck, and they weren't cheap. They never were going to be cheap. I was going back on the hunting for VHSs. You're just not going to walk into charity shops. One of the local charity shops I usually scour for VHSs is to stop getting them in. They run about after time chemicals come out and kinds of stuff like that. And I'm like, whatever. It's all about the artwork. Like, I wouldn't want to watch any of these on VHS. I probably have the counterparts on DVD. And then the last two. There's not that many that I can't get. Literally, there's not. And here we are. And like this shit heart came so fast. Now I need to get a weapon. <laughs> now for years I've had a sell through of the final chapter. Never had a new begin. You just do not see Fry the Feelings. I remember the first horror con I went to, and I remember um, when I got the map and got home and realizing, holy shit, there was an actual video seller. Because loads of people on the horror group were posting, oh, I bought this VHS and someone paid like, 67 pounds for the original like a pre-serve Friday the 13th. I was like, there was a fucking video shop there. And then I was really looking forward to the next year and then they didn't do the upstairs. I'm sure it was upstairs. So these have been well packaged. And it is them. Um, oh, so these have been really well packaged off somebody. Oh, wow. 
Dun, dun, dun. Wow. Now, looking on the guy's eBay, he had quite a lot of stuff, so he knew what he wants. I didn't bother with him. Um, free postage on both of them. So it's kind of like, oh, that's cool. Considering, like, you know, your postage it can be absolutely mental. Uh, it's open four first there. That is sexy. Friday the 13th, um, it's cool. Not jet black, grey in the background, going around there. Solid 18, Friday the 13th, final chapter. Little Tommy Jarvis on there. Crispin Glover gets his name on there, but no, Feldman. 1984, I mean, really all this, man. This is fucking awesome. It's our next rental stick on there. It's been rewound, unlike the Goonies. Mm -hmm. It's not a flip cover. Um, yeah, I mean, me. That's awesome. That is fucking awesome. Awesome. These came really fast, actually. And here we go. Friday the 13th, part 5, and you begin. Um, if Jason still haunts you, you're not alone. Um, this is pretty cool. Look at the artwork. This is the one with the imposter uh, on the back. I've just seen it. Feldman's credited. Now, he gets a really like special appearance by Corey Feldman. No one will be. Oh, there. Old Tommy Jarvis, Corey Feldman. Um, he was a 12 year old boy, but Tommy Jarvis, yeah, it changes. Um, so he gets name checked on there. Famously filmed in his back garden. But yeah, that was a massive. They are awesome. I thought maybe I would track one down eventually, but not to get both of them at the same time. And I've put the lights on, I've got the camera on. Yeah, I've got a Cobra Kai t shirt on, which covered in crust because I've been pretty much just cleaning all day. Um, but yeah, I'm over the moon. Over the moon they've came. Uh, super fast. Um, as I say, it's mint. And obviously the space has already been made. The dark man was. And I couldn't seriously not think. Time after time. Oh, <laughs> Feldman's in that apparently. Um, I can't think of another one. But they are the big ones. The Goonies, the Gremlins, Stand By Me, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Friday the 13s. They are five of the VHSs that of the all the years of collecting these randomly you just do not see i mean at one point of the burbs as well um at one point i remember seeing the turtles were 100 pound the only one i don't have there is one i don't have yet it's teenage mutant ninja turtles free big box so that is pretty much that's the last i think i'll have a dibble dabble into it but yeah, if you're new to Money Tree Entertainment, check the channel out. If you like Corey here and Corey Feldman, it's all on there. Even Feldman's on the channel. Um, as you can probably see a few signs behind us. Um, but yeah, if you're Friday the 13th fan, I know you've probably went, what the fuck? Talking about VHS all over the place, walking around with masks on his face. Well, whatever. Welcome to Money Tree Entertainment. See you in the outtakes. Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? First outtake, that's where Darkman ended up. Yes, yes, yes. Next outtake. Just a random outtake in the attic. Never know. You never know who's going to play Jason. You always know it was going to be Jason. It wasn't like, surprise, unless you're watching number five and it was an imposter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you never know who's out there. And uh, if you're a fan of Friday the 13th, make sure you check out Crystal Lake Memories. It's actually getting a UK Blu ray release finally after a few years. So make sure you check it out. I'm sure it's on 101. Don't hold me to that. But for now, from the attic, goodbye for now. Hello? Where is everyone? Oh, hello? Um, I've came home and uh, there's no one in. Lights are on, cameras are rolling. Mm -hmm. I don't know where everyone's gone. Maybe they've been murdered. That'd be brilliant. More pizza for me. Anyway, what I was going to do is I'm going to go and play Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse, yes. Splatterhouse 2, 16-bit cartridge, yes. So yeah, I'm gonna get my baseball bat and a mask and go around and bash some things. Goodbye for now. I'll be right back. No, she not. Hello? Who are you? Hey, get out of here. Stupid murderer, I'm picking a phone. Goodbye for now. <laughs>